Um, but yeah, so do you know what I've added to the game since uh, you last played? I do not, actually. I'm in the dark on this. Ooh. Uh, so this is my new ability to do double letter work. Um, so I've added a whole uh, trigger oh, to that. Oh my goodness me, <laughs> this looks Minecraft. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, yeah. Um, so what happens is when a double letter, when a, a letter is um, gone through and it's correct, it activates the minecart that sends it over the copper bulb, which then locks off the hopper on the second sorter. Oh. I've just fallen into my redstone. You know, that's a very normal thing for redstone to do. Hold on. <laughs> I've not seen it set up like this before. There's a really yeah. cool way of doing it with the bulb <laughs> and the minecart. This is slightly awkward. Ender oh, pearls. Yeah, Ender pearls are good too. <laughs> that's a good shout. And then this bit's but, working, right? Yeah, so this is all functional. This is great. But I have to add a failsafe into the game because what happens now is I'm giving them, giving you guys extra letters now. So there's there's six letters that you can use in your inventory, whereas before it was two. One for the item frame and one for the thing. You couldn't make a mistake of adding another correct letter into the same dropper. Now that you have more letters, uh, some hermits are inclined to add in the same letter to an already correct letter slot. Which means it'll send that letter straight back down, straight back, or straight down through the first order, and it won't go back into the system again. Okay. So they can soft lock themselves by using the same letter too many times on one of the correct guesses when they could be using it elsewhere. If they use too many; they'll they'll stay down in the system right now. They only come okay. back after the game is reset. I can I kind of like so, lost you a little bit along the way there, but if we're looking at like, yeah, <laughs> it sounds like we're going to look at a small issue that's part of the bigger picture. So hopefully, I can help with that. So, so you want you want these hoppers to unlock when it detects one item coming in? Yeah, that's right. So I want them to get their letters back straight away instead of them staying down there. Right now, the system works on a letter constantly being in that chest. So. Yeah, that's why we wanted to do like the whole dropper pulse thing. <laughs> Which is basically a smaller version of what I made over here. Okay. Did a bunch of testing in creative trying to get this to work and I was like, it wouldn't pick it up. No, it doesn't. I don't okay. know if servers might. Yeah. So... It's not, it's, I think it's because it doesn't have a full tick. It's a little bit less than a tick, so it doesn't set it off. This might be awkward to fit in, but um, let's see if I'm remembering how this works correctly. Here we go. So like it's locked, but if I go put an item in, then it will let it go through and give you a signal. Fortunately, I don't have space for something like that though, because they've all got to be single file. All right, so it stayed in there, but that's fine. We just need to extend the pulse. I one of the things there you go. that three I three ticks I'm... and it goes through three ticks. One of the things that I kind of like wish when I was doing it is like I wish pots emptied a little slower, just so they were a bit more usable and different. Oh, that, yeah, that would give them like more functionality, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be cool. Right? Yeah, I was like, what if pots emptied slower? But they don't. Exactly the same. But it would be cool if Mayan were to add that, so we could actually use it a bit more. Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah, that so that right there makes it one wide, right? Oh, does it? Yeah, there you go. No. This is this is also currently not tileable. Um, so you might have to do something with a piston here. Like yeah. a sticky oh, piston this... facing down with a redstone block would also do the trick. Uh, wait, am I right? Yeah. And you might get away with less ticks on that. Okay, it's probably yeah. worth experimenting. Now that can be okay. side by side. Mm. Yeah, so what I, what I mean with the droppers, essentially, is they will help me save an item. Uh, let me just see. Hold you're gonna have to show me if you've got like if you can set it up. Yeah. I can have a look. Imagine. Oh, I was. Whoop. I was gonna say, <laughs> have you got any like redstone and stuff back here? And it's oh no, it's water. Uh, that's okay. Luckily not. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Why all is the things. Flooded under here? Yeah, you oh want to watch gosh. out for that if okay. you're digging out these walls. See, I need a pulse to send off to a dropper Dude. to then move the item to the oh. second one, so that this keeps the signal on, and that'll allow that torch. Hang on, to, to like say, hey, that, you've got a correct letter here. The thing is, that should absolutely power that. Wait, wait did it? There you see, it's. It got, it's yeah, wait. it's suckers triggered true, so it's it's. Is it is it being quasi? -powered? Done that weird power thing, yeah. That's what I was worried about. Okay, so then the <laughs> block going directly next to it doesn't update it, so it probably thinks it's powered right now. Ah, yeah. okay, so then. Then if you lower that by one, it will work. 
if I lower it by one. Okay, yes. you're saying, okay. Yeah. The, the problem is it's going to quasi-power anything to put down here. Uh, I was thinking something like that, but look, it's quasi-powered, so it's already been updated. Um, mm, but the someone says the a note isn't... block might do it. That's true. Right now, everything yeah, reads to so its current position, but I need a signal that stays after the item goes through. Right? Okay, yeah, got ya. So, like, yeah. if we put them up here, hmm. then when that block gets powered, when an item comes through, it's going to move the item from the dropper across, right? Oh, really? Yep. Okay, let's try. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, All right. But you might be running out of room based on what you got over yeah. there. But, I don't think I got uh, much room for that. Like with redstone, you want to look at where events are happening. So uh, yeah. what I'll show you next will probably power twice, but this is a, like another thing you can take advantage of. So like there's going to be an event where that repeater is. Mm -hmm. uh, whoopsie. Okay, we could do with some easier You're way to place these. <laughs> like so there's an event okay. there and then that might be mm -hmm. where you want to have your dropper directly below it. Yeah, I think I remember trying something like observing the repeater, and then I still ended up with an issue. <laughs> so I'm curious. Well, that that one that. might it sh it will get two updates from it basically, but that might be okay. Yeah, I mean I'd be okay with two updates. Ah, but see now we're locking the dropper because of the redstone block, so it doesn't actually That is actually that go is off. true. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Okay, so again, just looking for another event. Uh, if this were a note block and you had an observer, like one over, that would then push the observer that across one work. block. Yep, I think so. Okay, Let's check so it. Okay, so move this stone in that. By the way, I never do redstone like this in survival. <laughs> it just occurred <laughs> to me, like this, this would be like two and a half minutes in in creative, you know, oh, like in, yeah. in a well, test world. A smarty pants. <laughs> Okay, here we go. That's still there. It's still on the first level. Wow, it's, it must be quasi powered again. Yeah, it's quasi powering because it's 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 it ends up here. Redstone block ends up here. By the way, one of the issues might be that we're powering the dropper directly because then it will power both of them. Um, yeah, actually, that would be an issue. Yeah. So. What if? Hmm. Let's go put two droppers here, like. Now, now it's not looking so compact and stuff, but... Well, if it functions, that's all that matters. So that <laughs> there... Oh, here we go oh. again. Yeah, let's... Block an oh. item through. There you go. Okay, that worked. Yeah, all right. That one worked. Okay, and then what do you need after that? Okay, so the comparator would be on. Then I need a way to... I need to run a signal back into the dropper to reset it. Is that is that a separate event like later on? Yeah, that's on the reset. So a redstone line that runs across this dropper here could possibly yeah, do it. Yeah, it resets now, it that way. You're going to have to put the comparator further out and then run the redstone there. Yeah. At this level. Right. Is there more water back here? <laughs> there would be more water back there. there. Is. Of course there is. <laughs> we chose the one area that has a giant noodle cave. Right, so this, I have a this lot of comparator is creating mm -hmm. a signal um, that you can work with because you've got the item in the dropper, right? Yeah, yeah. So there will be a signal coming off that in order to power the AND gate, right? So then I also need room to then reset that. So I need both events to occur, which is, I think, the issue. Ah! Uh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Why does it keep going? It never stops. Okay, so I'll, I'll just put the uh, the lever there. So, like, that powers the dropper and sends it back after. So you can have this line of redstone here. The main thing. Yeah. There's a there's a feature here, by the way. I don't know if you spotted it, but um, the mm. comparator isn't isn't taking the redstone signal strength because of the container behind it. So it sort of ignores that because normally it would take that oh. signal strength, wouldn't it? Okay. Like, if you so remove I... the dropper... Mm -hmm. And then look, it's powered. What? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a feature of what? it. Oh, how is that a feature? Wait, what? I'm confused now. Um, so these note blocks need to activate um, when the signal goes through this bit initially. 
when when this has its events to go to the next dropper, I need those note blocks to go off. So you just want to put an observer underneath this comparator because that comparator will turn on when that happens, right? Yeah, right. So it's very yeah, similar yeah, so to what you've already got there. You just have, uh, you you know, you you bring the signal down and across to the to the note block at that okay. point. Okay. Yeah, so that would work. I think do, do, a note block gets powered. Is there a block that you can change the state of, but it doesn't hold a redstone signal? Leafstone, basically. I leaf could carry stone? leafstone back. I could have this system a hopper, activate Cybot. a bunch of leaves. Pearl, we're going to be Maybe. saved. Cybot is in chat. He's absolutely oh. right. So now we can put that there, and we can send an update to it because the hopper can be locked from here. So when you reset, we also just want to create an event that sets off. Okay, okay, this, we're going to see it in action. <laughs> we're going to see it in action. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> right, what should happen is the piston doesn't get activated. And I think I need uh -huh. to check that the item goes back correctly well, as well. That so... one, that bob would be there on the actual build, I'm pretty sure. But that's fine, because if oh, you yeah, put yeah. a solid block it in there anyway, it goes through. It goes through. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yes! It so set that, the that signal works. up. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's well, just the that's... first time. Oh, it gets activated Ooh, twice. That flashes it. Interesting. Yeah. Um. Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh my days. Just another way. Another way squeezing. to reset this dropper is just to power it from below with a target block and a line of redstone. So, if you mm. just had redstone down here. Uh, I want a target block right underneath that. Yep. Then we're not going to need that there. And that would pulse it. Can we try that and see that action? And then you got that. Which might mess with these droppers, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Hey. Oh, okay. Now, and what if you put another item through? Does that turn it back off again? Ooh, no, it won't. okay. Good. So now, right. now we so need now... to figure out the reset bit. Because... Yeah. Uh, well, well that, it will turn off. Just powering this line. Yeah, yeah, it will work. Right? Oh, oh, wait! Uh, why did it go back? The bulb turned back on. I don't know. It's. I think the. I think the observers are also powering the droppers. So you might want another like hopper here or something to avoid that. Hey! And there it is. <laughs> oh my oh god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at that now, monstrosity! I. I'm scared oh to say gosh. it, but when you tile this thing uh -huh. up side by side, there might be something overlooked, but I'm fairly confident that that will work in a fine, tile. Yeah. None of them... yeah, that oh, wait, it doubled up. It doubled up. Why did it double up? Did it? Wait, Why did on, it change? Go on, chuck, an, an, chuck an, item an item in. I'll watch. Wait, yeah, let's... Let me check the dropper. Okay, cool. Let's reset. <laughs> It got two it signals yeah, it, from back it's there. It's firing. It's firing the dropper twice. I think. It, I think actually, what's happening is when this updates, it moves the item back. But it just it didn't before because we had moved this item forward manually or something. Hmm. Um. Oh Dang, we were so close. <laughs> Bud powering is just a nightmare. That might right. do it. That that might do it. Let's see. Let's see. You, you reckon? <laughs> That's promising. Okay. That's promising. Now we reset. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Did it? Did it? Wait. It did. Well, the light. Oh yeah, it did. Why did I go? Oh no. Why did that seem like? I, I think. think it's I think I it reset quietly, screen. and it just it, right. like we didn't notice. Okay, so. Yeah. And then. That's on. Oh, that's so cool. And then it resets. That's so okay. Cool. So let's test to put multiple. Let's put multiple items through this. So that turns it on first. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. All right. I I would just mute. Can I like put a block on here and mute this? Yeah, yeah, would yeah. That be an that, issue? That's fine. Oh, this okay, is this so is then... gratifying. <laughs> that's amazing. I just sounded like Jim, <laughs> but like that's that's so good. I. Zuma, it's cool. You're a genius. You are. Hey, a we genius. did it. We did it together. I you, I was I was just watching and. and picking when something went wrong. <laughs> nah. <laughs> was it was you. a team effort. It was a team effort. 
Did you enjoy the clip? Then subscribe for more because my second channel is where we post clips as well as the VODs of the live streams that I do on twitch.tv slash which many of the clips come from. Anyway, thanks for subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.